Here are directions for fraction and capture, and you're going to get a, a game board with 20 different squares on it, each divided up into fractions, and the fractions are going to look similar to these squares right here. Um, so, the object of the game is to capture as many of these squares as possible, and to do that, you will roll the dice and use that to help you make a fraction. So, first person rolls the dice and we have two and four. So with this we could either um, shade in two fours or you can also do equivalent fractions. Two-fourths is the same as one-half. So, uh, we're not going to shade it in. We're just going to put in initials. So, Mr. Brent has one-half. If I would rather have done two-fourths, I could also do this. Either way would work. You can have... Um, you can have improper fractions. So you could do, you, theoretically, you could have 4 over 2. However, 4 over 2 is a whole number, and you can't have, can't use whole numbers. So now we'll go to the other person's turn. Then they will roll, and they have 2 sixths. Well, 2 sixths, you could either shade in uh, 2 sixths like this, and I'll just put CL for class. You can put shade in those for two six, or you two six is the same as one third. You can shade in that one. <clears throat> okay, two halves. That doesn't work because that's a whole. So that person's turn would be over. It would move on to the next person. One sixth. Okay, so one sixth will go here, and we're back to the class because I missed my turn. Roll again. Two fifths or five halves. I could do five, five halves as well. So if I was going to do five halves. I could go one half, two half, two halves, one fourth and one fourth is a half, so that's three halves. Four halves. So one half, two halves, three halves, four halves. And three more six would be another half, or five halves. So, if I was playing this game, I would have just captured that square because I have more than half of it. I've captured this square, and I've captured this square. So the object is to capture as many squares as you can. If, on this one, we would have... So I'm just going to make another square say on this one, we had one-fourth, 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 and one-fourth, and the class had these two, and I had these two. Nobody wins that, that one. That's, that's a tie. You have to have more than half of the square to capture the square. Um, so, last thing going through, uh, blocking is allowed, for example, if player one initials one half of a square, player two may initial the other half so that no one can capture the square. Play ends when all the squares have, either, have been either captured or blocked. The player who has captured more squares wins. If you have a question or get stuck, you can open your student reference book 
cube page 360, I believe. Page four, or one, no, that's not right either. Well, just go to your game section, the L section in your uh, student reference book, and um, look up the directions for fraction capture. Fraction capture.